What is up guys? Photo Pitch here and today what I'm going to show you is a quick and clever way to create a video overlay and not just any video overlay it's going to be a quick way to remind your subscribers on YouTube uh, to go ahead and you know leave a like or leave a comment if you can add if you want to subscribe or so forth I use this uh, recently on a lot of my videos just to kind of remind them let's say it's a 10-20 minute video on Minecraft or something like that I want to go ahead and remind them say hey yeah, this is that time. Go ahead and leave a like or a comment. All right, let's get started. So what I'm using today is Photoshop CS6. And as you can see, we're going to go in and create a new project. Creates new. And for the width, um, I upload in 720p uh, HD to YouTube. And I do have a gaming channel. So we're going to title this Video Overlay. Uh, the width is going to be 1280 pixels. Height, 720 and uh, a resolution, I typically add that's about 300. Um, the file is going to be a little bit larger, but it is going to help out. All right, click OK. All right, so we've got our nice background here. Over to the right, we're going to go ahead and unlock this layer. Go ahead and click OK. And uh, we're going to add down the very bottom right, add a alpha channel or just a blank layer. All right. We're going to go ahead and delete this. Uh, all right, yeah, for now, let's just go ahead and make this invisible. Click that eye. Over to the left, we are going to use our uh, rounded rectangle tool. You can either hit U as a shortcut, or it's located over here on the left side. Uh, for me, I like to have this overlay kind of slide into the to the side like that. Say, sit here, and then come back out. And you can do that. Those transitions within Sony Vegas, um, and I'll show that as well. All right. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to create a quick kind of just, you know, rectangle like this, right? We've got our default colors down here. We, we'll change those here shortly. Um, I want to add some text. So I'm going to click on the uh, text on the left-hand toolbar, text tool. All right. Uh, I'm going to put, please, we'll resize this. Please leave a like and comments all right we'll go ahead and highlight everything there all right let's move it down to about eight eight font and right now we're using price down like old price is right uh, font and just to give this this text a nice pop I'm gonna go into the FX down here make sure you highlight your layer the very bottom right function blending options we'll click on bevel and emboss use the default contour and stroke and it looks like my bevel and emboss is kind of jacked up. Um, yep, actually it's my contour. So we'll go into contour, and it looks like we need to we need to adjust this. Let's check this out. See what kind of different different stuff we can do with it. Um, we can unselect it. Let's go into bevel and emboss. Depth, we want to put about 11% depth. And let's see, check out the size, what we can do. Bring the size up there. Click OK. All right, let's go back in here. We need to make this kind of centered there. Uh, looks like it's centered at the top. All right, now, now to add some more swag to our video overlay, let's use the ellipse tool. And what we're going to do is... We're going to come in, draw like some a couple little circles, you know, some bigger than others. And we're, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to, you'll see how this is going to turn out. All right. Oh, that one looks a little weird. All right. So like that. Like that. And then, guys, this is very introductory type stuff. Um, you can do a lot more with this as far as like how it's going to phase in. Uh, which is going to be really cool. Alright, so what we're going to do is go in here. Let's go get our color correct. Let's go this maybe some yellow uh, like that. And we're going to go control backspace. Oh, it's red. Oh, that's right. We need to flip our colors around. Uh, control backspace. Uh, let's go down this one. Backspace. We're going to we're going to mix them up, guys. That way it, uh, it'll come across to our, our viewers as if all right that looks good there let's add a couple red ones here there 
uh, control backspace and what I'm doing guys is I got my two colors on the left hand side over here in case you need a shortcut uh, click this little arrow it's gonna pop them back and forth and then once whatever the uh, bottom layer is you hit control backspace when that layer is highlighted it's going to uh, fill that layer alright uh, now we need some green let's get some green in here uh, we'll click on our color green looks good there we don't want to leave blue on any of the circles because we have the rectangle that's going to be blue there in the middle and this is going to have like a little circus theme here um, maybe we should get left a couple blue alright yeah let's do that let's let's add a couple blue here uh, we'll go blue okay and control backspace that uh, let's get this bottom green down here not that one there it is control back backspace alright um, so right now we have uh, we have that going on uh, let's click on our rectangle and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some effects to it we want to add a stroke effect where the edge of the rectangle has like a silver a silver theme to it so we're gonna go in here click on that let's change this to a silver um, that looks good and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the size uh, maybe like five click OK alright guys and now once you've gotten it here guys what you're gonna to want to do is save this as a PNG so first first off we're gonna click uh, file we're gonna do save as we're gonna save save our Photoshop project here uh, we'll do video overlay three because I might have a couple other ones let's go up need to save this properly Let's save it there. Click OK. Now what we're going to do is uh, save this as a PNG image. So we're going to do Save As. Drop down under Format. Go in PNG because if you do it as a JPEG, it's going to leave the, the saved format into like a white background. So whenever you try to do it as a video overlay, it's just going to block out your video. And it's not going to be good. Click uh, Save. I'm going to go ahead and save it here. Small is slow. Uh, it's good high quality if your PC is decent and you can run Sony Vegas with that. Um, click OK. All right. Now let's go open Sony Vegas. And I'm using Studio HD Platinum 11, guys. All right. So uh, looks like I have a sample here. Uh, so if we go to the beginning right here. All right. We're going to um, go to find our <laughs> overlay here. I don't know why I... All right, let's click in here, video overlay three, and let's open her up. All right, now I'm going to add a transition in here. I'm going to go into, I think it's a slide. Yeah. So we're going to slide it out to the right. That looks good. And then we're going to slide it in to the left at the beginning of it. All right, and I, th I think I got this over text. We need to put, I don't think it matters, but we need to put it right there. Let's zoom in here, and we'll click here. Click play. Man, I'm so excited. All right, this. so you can this see the position fun. right now is uh, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's, it's altered. Let's get, uh, let's go so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on track right here. We're going to add, bring this bad boy in, and that looks a little, uh, a little large there. So. We're gonna just add that in right there. All right. So click, click, exit. Click play. Right here. What Let's go ahead and uh, start play right here. Damn. That's See how it so slides in, guys. This. this is gonna be fun. So basically, right, looks like we, it's gonna remind our users. Get, uh, uh, and right obviously, here. the color scheme. You can change that. Did we get and now it's gonna slide out. No, we didn't. And the quality of that is yeah, obviously well, we because the preview yeah, window goes. in Sony Vegas is uh, Man, I can't seven. Go today. It's actually three twenty by one eighty. So the quality oh, you can tell, but once it renders, once you save it as a your original project format of twelve eighty by seven twenty, uh, it's gonna pop. It's gonna be very crisp. And that's it, guys. Is I go ahead and hit Control plus sign. Let's go ahead and zoom in here so we can see what we're working with, and you'll see that here shortly. Uh, next step. Over to the right, under layers, there's a lock sign. You're going to want to double click on that lock sign. It's basically going to turn